Hello third grade and welcome back to science. We're gonna continue looking at physical adaptions. Remember, physical adaptions are ways that animals' bodies are that help them adapt to their environment. The two that we are gonna look at today, which are pretty interesting, are camouflage and mimicry. Now, first we're gonna be organizing um, our options into the correct category, so please follow along with me in your class kick. The first one says, increases an animal's chance of survival by tricking predators. Now, that's kind of both of them. They both help trick predators into thinking that there's something that they're not. So it's kind of like if a cupcake would disguise itself as a pile of dirt. Something that we wouldn't want to eat. The next one is when one animal resembles another. That is camouflage. Sorry, I said the wrong thing. That is mimicry, when it's mimicking another animal. The next one is predators believe that the animal is different is a different one that they do not want to eat. That is also mimicry. And finally, this allows animals to blend in with the surrounding, and that's camouflage. Go ahead and put those into the correct areas. And we'll move on to the next part. For this activity, I want you to look at the organism and then describe how it shows camouflage. So how does this walking stick show camouflage? How does it blend in with its environment? What about this fennec fox? Or a polar bear? Think about a polar bear lives next to snow. A fennec fox um, is probably low in the ground. In the next activity, look at the habitat. Which of the organisms would live in each habitat to camouflage, drag the correct animal to each habitat? Once you're finished matching the habitat and their camouflage, you can move on to the next activity for today. And we'll continue looking at mimicry when you get back in our next science lesson.